Guide Dog Vlog, Minneapolis. Here you will see us moving from the elevator through the Skyway system to my husband's office. I do want to note that I realize the GoPro makes kind of a crinkly sound as it moves slightly with Figaro's harness, but a number of my blind friends have requested that we leave the audio so that they can kind of hear our pace. So I'm going to leave that, but I am going to turn it down a bit in the video so that it's not as disruptive. If you guys could give me feedback about that, I would greatly appreciate it. I'd just like to find out if the balance is about right for my blind friends to hear the movement. Here we're approaching some longer stairs. You'll see Figaro stop and I give him a kibble for showing me the stairs and then we proceed up. I think there's three or four stairs. And then shortly here you will see us turn toward the left toward my husband's office. Here we've just left another storefront. I had to mail a package. So you'll see us working through the Skyway system in Minneapolis. The Skyway is pretty extensive. It connects a number of the buildings since in the winter, it's pretty chilly here. So you're able to go from building to building and a number of the buildings are interconnected, kind of like a giant rat maze. We will be traveling through several buildings actually in this clip in order to get over to our destination, which is the downtown Minneapolis Target store. I'm going to cut out brief segments of our work since it is a pretty long route and I don't want it to be totally monotonous for you guys. Here we've just turned right to go down another hall and we're passing a number of storefronts on our left and then we are moving to enter the Skyway Connection, which is kind of like a bridge over the road, to go into the next building. The next building we enter was previously the downtown Macy's store that they've just closed business. So you'll see that the areas along the walking pathway are actually boarded up because they are doing construction. A lot of Skyway traffic does go through this building, so you'll see us passing a number of posts throughout the walking area, as well as pedestrians, some going the same direction as us, some going the opposite direction as us, and you will see Figaro walk around a few of the pedestrians because they weren't going fast enough for him. Whether a dog will go past a pedestrian who's going slower than you will depend on the team and their pace, as well as whether there is enough space for us to pass. Here you see us in yet another Skyway building. We just turned right in the US Bank building and we are approaching a left-hand turn. That will take us down a straight hallway. and another Skyway Bridge. And here you see us reaching our destination, the downtown Minneapolis Target store ahead of us and on the right is the entrance. As we approach the entrance, you'll see Figaro hesitate briefly as if to say, hey, is this where you wanna go? And I encourage him inside to the right. He proceeds and I stop to reward him for a job well done. In this next little bit, you will see us going through a few aisles within the store. The first couple of aisles are party supplies, gift bags, decorations, wrapping paper, things of that nature. You'll see us turn a couple of turns. We just turned left. And what would a stop at Target with me be without going into the craft aisle? Here we are navigating through a bit of the grocery area. You'll see us navigating through the eggs and some dairy and then turning right into the end aisle, which has the milk. Turning right again into the aisle that has the yogurt and some other snacky type foods. Since I was looking for a snack, you'll see me halt him here and I give him a kibble as a reward for a job well done. Here we're going through a candy aisle and at the end of this aisle we approach the checkout area. We check out our items and end our super exciting adventure through the Target store. 
here you see us going through the skyway again, except we're in the building approaching my husband's office. We are passing some storefronts on our left, a salad vendor on our right, and we're approaching my husband's office ahead of us and on the right. You'll see that as we approach the door, Figaro will stop when he's arrived at the door so that I can feel with my hands, find the door, and we can enter. This is probably my favorite part of today's video. It seems simple. We're just walking around the city along the sidewalks and alongside other pedestrians. But this is truly one of the areas that using a guide dog has given me a great level of confidence. Traveling in cities independently. All this time I've been jabbering on, we've been waiting to get the light. A couple ahead of us just crossed on a red light and we just got the green light to cross. Contrary to popular belief, guide dogs cannot read traffic lights. My job to listen for traffic patterns and parallel traffic to know when it's safe to cross. We approach the up curb and I give him a scratch on the back for a job well done. As you'll see, we're walking through some areas of heavy construction. We say there are two seasons here, winter and construction. But Figaro takes this in stride, following his line and openings, crossing a temporary wooden sidewalk, crossing over a muddy area with large construction machines on either side, approaching the next wood sidewalk as if it was an up curb so that I could safely recognize the change in elevation, and properly approaching the actual up curb successfully. Thank you all for joining us on one of our first of many adventures in downtown Minneapolis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more guide dog vlogs in the future, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below what types of environments you'd like to see Figaro working in. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, Nicole and Fig.